Hello my crafty friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Corin Crafts. I hope you are all well. Today is Thursday so I thought I'd make a sort of thrifty Thursday card with just a few little scraps of card but I thought I'd also make it to match my colour challenge which launched on Monday. So if you want to see how I made this lovely card to fit in with the colour challenge but also being a little bit thrifty continue to watch and I'll show you how it's done. So this is my take on merging a Thrifty Thursday um, project with my colour challenge, um, monthly colour challenge as well. So as you will have seen if you saw the video on Monday and if you haven't seen it I'll try and get a link put up here for you. Um, this, These are the colours for my August colour challenge. Aren't they gorgeous? Really bright and beautiful. I think I chose them back in July when it was still a little bit grey and overcast and we thought summer would never come and it just made me want to pick something lovely and bright. So that's what I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this with Thrifty Thursday. So you know my theory about Thrifty Thursday, it's all about just using little bits and pieces that we've got. So all I'm using is these five colours of card. A bit of yellow and I'm actually only using a tiny little strip of that. A little bit of blue. Now that is, I cut out the centre because I've um, got my card. Some green, some orange and some blue. Now if I bring these in, look at how, if I actually put them in the right order, you will see that I have, um, where am I? One, two, three, oh, and that one wants to go at the end. You will see how well the colours match. Look at that. I don't think I could do that much better if I tried. Look at that. That's perfect match, perfect match. Look at those for perfect match. This was just literally going through scraps, and the, the only one that wasn't really in my scrap box was the green, but I've cut off so much that I've been able to save quite a lot. So those are the colours that I'm going to be using, and I'm just going to be using little scraps of the card to make the project. So the first thing I needed to do, let's go with the card base, the top. So five and three quarters by six and three quarters. And if you see I've turned it over, I, for once I've just changed to some centimetres. That could be half an inch. I've got half a centimetre, so that would be about a quarter of an inch. Well, it's a bit more, but um, you can just measure. As long as you've got the same size, it really doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. You just need to measure and draw a line all the way, you, your two borders. So one at equidistant. So that's what you need to do then. Then you need to grab your um, scoreboard. I've got that on there. And then you need to turn, so these, these lines are on the back. And what we're going to do is I'm going to, I've got a thick line down the center of my scoreboard. Whichever scoreboard you see me working with, you'll always see it's got a, just a marker pen down, down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the top up with the line, the top mark with that line, and the bottom mark with that line. So I can see it's lined up. I'm going to get the thick end of my score tool and I'm going to go from the from the first where they bisect down to the bottom line where they bisect. So I'm not going all the way to the end. Then I'm going to move it along so that the next line is in the center of that score. And then I'm just going to do the inner bisect line. So can you see that one goes to the outer and the outer and that one goes to the inner and the inner. Now you could rub off some of the lines if it makes it easier but I find that having these pencil lines right up to the edge really helps. So outer bisect line to the outer bisect line or where they cross over um, and then the inner one goes to the inner line and the inner line. What I sometimes then do is just use my pointy end of my score tool as well. So we can do that one so we just want it to where they cross, where they cross, like I say, go down with that one as well if you want, and then on the inner one, we're going to do the inner line, and what we're going to do on here is we're going to put a lovely embossed line on the front of the card. So yeah, you might have an embossing folder that does it, but that could that could rook your card or you, you know it might not fit the size you wanted to do it you're going to have to work with the embossing folder but if you do it like this it can be any size i just find having the pencil lines on the back just helps me a bit so i'm going to turn that over and look at that we've got perfect raised hopefully you can see that embossed frame double frame 
on the front of my card. I'm loving that. So there we go. So that's going to be the front of my card. Really, really easy. And that is going to sit, that's going to sit onto some green. So all I did was I used my paper trimmer and I cut out three uh, three quarters of an inch square out of there so I don't know where that piece has gone I, well I've been cutting into it I think so I've been cutting into it so it's it's partly used now so I've got three quarters so and it border three quarters inch, so I've put it onto some white so it's strong and then the same on the blue I've just cut in three quarters of an inch so that means I've got lots of that to use like I say it's thrifty Thursday we're being as efficient as we always top folding card because that's what I like to do and then I've just put a little bit of my six to my two millimeter tape on the back of there. So I'm just pulling the backs off there. As I always do, always just put a little bit of a wet glue. Whatever is your favorite wet glue um, that you like. It could be a, a glue stick. It could be a wet glue like this. It's entirely up to you. All this does is it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So that's going to go on to there. I just like to sometimes add a little bit of fat. Now, look at that. That's wonky. Now, if I hadn't put that glue on, that um, foam tape would have stuck and I wouldn't be able to amend it. So we can just, just adjust it very slightly. Come on. I think I must be looking at it from an angle because it keeps going slightly wrong. There we go. That'll be perfect. There we are. Right, that's one. And then I'm going to pop this one on to there like that so look at that like so all those pen marks that you did on the back are not going to be visible so i'm going to make sure most of my glue is around the back around the edge because it's got a little bit of a divot there but it's fine and then i'm going to glue that on to there just like that there we go and then all you need to do if i can reach it is I'm just going to get a stamp block I can put that on put my glue on or something heavy and I'm going to push that out of the way so you can just see it sitting at the top so now I need to do a design for the front with all those beautiful colors so I've already used two of the colors I've used the green and the blue so gosh these are old aren't they Fleur's dies I've got lots of Fleur's dies left over so I thought I would use these any outline floral dies I know everyone does them I love Chloe's crafts one Julie Hickey does them um, who else does them crafters do them or everybody does them um, you'll be able to find just outline dies and then that's just um, a well a melded um, leaf die as well so what I have done out of the colours, so we're going to use all of the colours now. Out of the blue and the um, two blues, I've cut that size flower. And out of the two yellows, I've cut that size flower. Then I've cut a centre and then I'm going to, I've cut some of the small centres that are under there. So I need four pairs of the blue. No, I don't. I need two pairs of the blue, four pairs of the yellow. Get it the right way. So I'm going to put the yellow onto there. So that means I need four small blue ones of those and two large ones of the yellow so that's going to make me two of those and four of those and it's dead easy i'm going to do it really really simply i'm not going to make these overly complicated at all now you could just literally get those and glue them like that but then you're starting to start looking lit by by a circle so i'm going to turn them over and i'm just going to shape a little bit i'm not going to these aren't going to be my most shaped flowers i just want a little bit of shape so that they're not totally flat and you can see that on there and i'm going to do the same with the yellow let's do it all in one go so we can then just shape on the back of there and then i'm going to get these ones i'm going to get my tiniest ball tool and i'm just going to turn turn that into a sort of a, a dome so let's turn these ones over like i say i'm not going lots of shaping i only want a little bit but i'm going to put a little bit of shaping in the center now whichever way you want to, to layer these up is entirely up to you but i'm working dark to light so i'm going to get tiniest little bit of my tacky glue i am in the way you can see can't i, I can never see my camera from how i got it set up and a little bit in there so just got a little tiny bit. Yep, you can still see. And then we can stagger these. So once I've got it staggered, I'm going to grab my ball tool and I'm just going to press. I'm going to lift that up a little bit 
there we go and I'm just going to hold that so I'm using the foam mat as a resist so these aren't really complicated flowers they're just keeping them nice and simple then we're going to get this one if you feel like it's flattened out a little bit just get your ball tool and just press it in a little bit more and then pop it down oops you see what if you're not careful they smooch together and we don't want that we want them staggered so come on stagger why is that not staggering there we go this is why i grab my ball tools i just wanted a small one there and make sure that i use the glue to hold it where i want it to be and i just like to lift that inner one up doesn't take long because tacky glue dries really quick especially if it's once it's squidged out and then what i would do where did i put it i want my 3d glue 3d glue okay i'll use this one there's not much left in here Let's see how far we can get with this so i'm going to put a little squirt in the center there and a little squirt in the center there there we are i'm going to get my shapes and again what i can do is i can stagger these because that's six petals that's six petals so you basically you'll get one they'll fit nicely in the middle and i'm just going to press and then i can do the little one making sure that they go into the gaps just like that this is a really sort of clean and simple looking card now the other thing i did was now this is one from one of my old signature collections i've got a with love die but you can just find any sentiment die that you've got and i've cut it out of the green and i've cut it three times out of my 300 gsm white card so and i've layered those together so can you see they're nicely bound now the theory was i was going to put that on the top with a white drop shadow then i decided that wasn't going to work that wasn't what i wanted so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to do it white because it's going to be a white card with a very small green drop shadow so even though it's built up i'm going to pop this on here a little bit of glue and we can see it on there now if you wanted to you could um there's lots of ways to apply the glue on the back you could you know find so many different ways you could be using your dotty tape pen you could have put adhesive, um, adhesive sheets on the back of this one before you cut it out it's entirely up to you lots and lots of different ways and then once i've put that onto there i'm then going to pop it onto here with the smallest drop shadow now you sometimes get little bits of glue oozing out but we can get rid of those in a minute so i don't want much green but just enough I can see there is a green shadow so can you see just there like that and that oh and the other thing I did was I used the leaves dye to cut out a few pairs of the green leaves so there's my color palette straight away look I've got the two blues I've got the two yellows and I've got the green as well so should we bring the card back in this is a lovely quick card isn't it so I've got this here and so I'm just going to position everything I've got two blue ones and I don't mind that they go over the frame a little bit. So we can then put the with love in the centre. So it's white, almost on white, but it's got that little bit of green. So that means I can, I've got room to do that. So I can see that's okay. What I'm going to do actually for speed is see if I've got a dotty tape pen. Yes, I have. I'm going to turn that over. I need a little scrap of card. I'm going to put some dotty on the back of here. You can see just a bit of dotty tape pen just for speed plenty on there we go and that's going to come into the center just there there we go so i've stripped made the width straight and the love a little bit at a nice angle so that's where we get we've got to so far let's move a few bits out of the way so then i can pop my blue flowers on next so how am i going to do it i think i'll do it with tacky glue you could be doing it with 3d glue if you wanted to but we're just going to use a little bit of tacky glue and we're going to pop that one just there and i'm going to pop this one just here i just thought this was a completely different look for my uh like i say for my um color challenge but this this is what it's all about the color challenge could be you creating with 
pens with inks. You saw, um, you've seen my main project, which I loved making that um, with that butterfly on and all the inks. So that's where I've got my colours from. Oh, I've got a bit of glue there. So we can pop these ones just here. I'm going to start putting some leaves on as well before this dries too much. A little bit of leafage just there. So let's put that under here. I've got four of each size leaf. So let's put that one just there. And just because these are sort of embosses, they die cut, so I've just given them a little bit of shape. Just stops them being totally flat. And oh, if I can pick them up. And it also adds to the shape. So I've almost created like a little bit of a swag, I think is how you'd probably describe it. Just making sure those are centered. None of that is sticking down. Right, let's just come it in and grab that. See, that's not stuck down. It's not pressed hard enough. Let's get that one under there. Get that pressed down and then get that pressed down. That's much better. I think we're down now. There we are. And then we can do the other ones. So we can pop this one on. And then again, just bring it down so it's a bit curved. Oops. There we go. But you could be using any, any floral dies that you've got. I think that would look lovely. Um, I think I got distracted from what I was talking about, but never mind. Never mind. There we go. And then the leaves I've got just here. So let's put one, give it a little bit of shape, pop it under there, and another large one. Isn't this pretty? And it's just using those colours in such a different way. And then we can do the next one just there and the final leaf just there so I need to bring that leaf round there there we go and then the final little bit I want to do for this is let's grab those tweezers I'm just going to put a few little um, water droplet gems on just to I don't want to add any more colour because we've got the colour absolutely spot on so i don't want to risk um you know getting something that's out of sync now i don't know whether the backing came off no it didn't i thought the backing had come off that one there and let's just go i love little water droplet um gems you can make them just with hot glue you could be just putting some hot glue drops on there there we go how about that so that is project number two. Um, so it's Thrifty Thursday because we're only using small little bits of card. I've gutted the centre of my card to use that and then I just use a few little bits of the yellow as well. Um, but it's also meeting my colour challenge that was only launched three days ago. So yes, so there we go. And that, as I said, is the second one. And here is the first one. There you go. I'm sure you'll have a favourite style, which you'd prefer, but they're very different. But they are both influenced by these colour chart. This colour chart. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've got the butterfly with the acetate wings on it, which we coloured with our pens. And then we used our inks on the background and we did it like that. Or we've got the ones where we've done it all with papers as well so it's up to you you choose which you want you'll actually see look i've used the same paper as the um orange there and i've used the same blue just down there just because obviously that was what i had in my um crafty stash so i hope you like that and i hope you're going to be putting um in your entry for the august color challenge however you choose to make it so until then I hope you have fun crafting. Please don't forget to click on all the links that I put down in the description. Um, and also don't forget to go look at Lou's um, contribution to my colour challenge as well. Because as I said on the post, she has been very kind to um, donate a prize this month for the winner of the colour challenge. So yes, it's super exciting. Um, well, that's me done. And I will speak to you all again very soon. So until then... 
Happy crafting, my friends, and I hope you all keep well. See you soon. Bye for now.